Duran is out there with Bruce Brown. Then it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Claxton in at the center. And for San Francisco, Peyton is out there with Curry. And it's Green, and it's Unseld in at the center. And so off the tip, it's Brooklyn. It's taken away by Peyton. And here we go, San Francisco, fast break. Hey, guys, I'm starting to be concerned that the rim ain't going to survive some of these unsealed jams. There's just so much power to his game. Mills passes to KD. Drills it from outside. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Peyton dishes to Curl. San Francisco passing it around. Unsell can't get it to go. And yeah, they had some botched coverage that turned into no cover. Here's Claxton. Boom, he jams it straight down. And he just big boyed it right there. The height and advantage he's got down low, really difficult for them to defend. And when it comes to handling the rock, Irving is second to none. Greg cannot agree with you more. He is special in the highest form of special. Great ball handling skills, finishing ability with both hands. I don't know if I've seen a better finisher under 6'3 in the history of the league. You might have somebody in mind, but nobody's been better than Kyrie Irving finishing and getting it done with his handles and skills. Here's Irving following that last three-pointer by San Francisco. Curry with the steal. Peyton outside from deep three-point range. And again, in San Francisco with a three. And how about the anticipation and imagination there from Unsell? Sees the play developing and delivers the pass on time and on target. A fantastic dunk. And he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. Either that guy's or he wanted the photographers to get a good shot of him. And so it's San Francisco with it, following the bucket by the Nets. Look at this little fella going in there and eating up some glass. Great positioning on the putback. Yeah, he, he's just relentless on the glass. Unsell turning the miss into points because of his activity down low. That, that's what you love to see from your big guy. Here's Durant and finished off by Katie. Tell you what, when Durant is feeling it, he puts on some swagger. He's going to let you know he's got it going. Off the rewind, courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And a deep three from Curry. It's hauled in by Brown. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. This is supposed to Absolutely the brutalist play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Unless you're the team getting punched on. That would be the difference. It's the Nets now. After the missed three from Stephen Kirk. Drops in the tray. Guys, this is where Mills thrives. He's ready to shoot as soon as the ball touches his hands. Two Excellent three. catching shit. Two. There's 154 and left to play in the first quarter. Curry finds Peyton. On deep. Again, Curry missing. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. And KD throws it down. Boy, with that long reach of his, so easy for KD to throw it down. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Nets leading by six. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. Shots good by Mills. Three points. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist total, they've been clearly the better team. And when you're looking for someone to answer a three-pointer, Steph's probably your guy. He lives to one-up the opponent. And a new group out there on the floor for the Nets. One oh two left in the first quarter of the game. No one covered. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Now here's Jordan. And it's Marion in the corner. 
That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Marion with the steal. Outside Jordan takes the three. And again, it's San Francisco with a three. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Here's Johnson. He can't hit that time. And it's San Francisco the other way. Pass to Jordan. Back to O'Neal. Here's Odom. Can't tie it up as that one misses. And so it's Drummond with it. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs That's are certainly calling it close. Foul. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And an early swap like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. 16 seconds left in the first quarter. There's the pass to Harris. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. You know, most think of him as a deep shooter, and that's accurate. But Harris is also not shy about doing damage closer to the rim. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Nets lead by four. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Brooklyn. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. Well, another thing that's immediately gone right for them is their three-point shooting. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court right now for San Francisco, they've got Peyton. He's out there with Curry, and it's Sigma, and at the power forward position. Curry can't get it to go. Curry's gotten just one of six shots to fall here. Mills with it. Now Peyton defending. Mills passes to Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. Yeah, you know, Mills is one of those energizing players who does a little bit of everything, including finding his open teammates. No problem knocking that one down. Unzold's got six points. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. And how chaotic was this offseason for Simmons? I mean, the trade rumors swirling, stepping back from Team Australia, ultimately traded. And you talk about someone just dying for a fresh start. Good awareness by Simmons. He's so good at reading the defense and finding a shooter and setting him up perfectly. Green kicks to Curry. A three ball. Rebound, Brooklyn. Their biggest lead of the game was not. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used his contribution. First team foul. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for all Bruce Brown comes in for Simmons. Kevin Durant, he's checked in for Joe Harris. And Irving subbed in for Thomas. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Irving passes to Brown. Kicks it to Mills. Shot clock at six. Brooklyn needs to get off a shot here. It's deflected, and they'll keep possession. And again, it's the Nets missing. Green against Durant. Pass to Zygma. San Francisco passing it around. And Curry has it in the corner. From deep. It's in and hoping this is the start of a new trend. Two for eight now from the field. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Takes a three. They get it back. Beyond the arc. The rebound by the Nets. Brown's got his fifth rebound in this one. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Durant, that's good. 
he has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Peyton dishes to Curry. And there's the call on Durant. That is his first foul of the game. Dominguez come in for San Francisco. Jordan comes in for Peyton. Andre Drummond's checked in for the Nets. Seth Curry comes in for Patty Mills. Curry passes to Jordan. Back to Curry. From downtown. San Francisco again missing. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. San Francisco trails by three. Kaminga dishes to Kirk. It's stolen by Brown. Here's Durant. Got a piece of it. And priority number one has got to be the finish, guys. Not the fancy stuff. Curry way outside. The quick look no good that time. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. Bobbed up there for Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. And I like the timing that Drummond has on these alley-oops. That's not as easy as he makes it look. He knows precisely when to leave the ground to receive the pass and finish it off. Here's Unso, defended by Drummond. Looking to get it going. Shot clock at five from deep. Jordan. Green kicks to Jordan. This one for three. Green, no luck. They play the clock right, then go two for one. Just got to time it up right. Or he finds Brown. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Boy, much respect for the defensive Jordan. I mean, he gives his all on this end of the floor. I mean, fantastic. At getting his hands up to block shots. Count that one. And the Nets lead by seven. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Here's Curry with the three. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Curry with a wide open look. Drops in the tray off the fast break. Curry's got six here in this quarter. Anytime Curry gets a look from deep, he's letting it fly. And he's probably knocking it down, too. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Brooklyn ahead, leading by four. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. We've seen Kevin Durant really having a great game. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. Setting the floor for the Nets. On out there with Durant. And it's Mills. And it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Claxton in at the five, roaming the paint. And more than one observer, Greg, has called Irving the most entertaining player in the game. What do you think? A lot of competition for that distinction. But Irving does some things that no one else can, at least at his level. And then you never know when he's going to give us a juicy soundbite. With the drive, it's blocked. So it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Here's Sigma. Green finds Curry. That misses at a chance to tie it there. 
And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Going inside, shot's good by Mills. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Here's Unzo. He's got nine. That gives them the lead. Unzo's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for San Francisco. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Green. Goes up, and Green slams it in. And that sort of sums up Green. A, a player who changes the game with his defense or offense can sometimes both. So for the Nets, Marcus Aldridge has checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Johnson comes in for Brown. And Thomas subbed in for Kyrie Irving. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom. That is his first foul That's of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. A wide open look for Durant. The shot's good on the assist by Johnson. Three pointer. KD's got it all tied up now for the Nets. Shaq down low. Aldridge is covering, and it's Durant with the rebound. Johnson, the pass to Mills. Bobbed up there for KD. Marion with the steal. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. And so the ball out of bounds. Jordan will touch it last. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Seth Curry, he's checked in for the Nets. Ben Simmons comes in for Patty Mills. Peyton against Simmons. From D. Thomas sinks the triple. Thomas got seven. Man, I love how Simmons sets the floor up. So good at spotting his teammates for high-quality shots. That's the three fly. Outside for Jordan. Three-pointers off the mark. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. O'Neal issues to Peyton. Here's Jordan. And that one comes up a bit short. Brooklyn leading by three. And stolen by Jordan. And here we go. Peyton heading to the hoop. Trains the jumper to finish the break. Five points in the game. I'll tell you what, Jordan, such a strong defender. Outstanding at reading the opposition and pouncing on those steals. Aldridge, wide open, he fires. And again, it's the Nets missing. And it's the Warriors' ball. Shaq kicks to Jordan. San Francisco passing it around. Odom, the pass to O'Neal. Six to shoot. Here's Peyton. Good on the triple. Peyton's got five points now in the quarter. How about O'Neal sending passes over to his guys, using that height to find open teammates? Passes to Thomas. Simmons dishes to Aldrich. To the inside. Johnson. Jordan with the rebound. And it's the Warriors' ball. The lead is two. Odom, the pass to O'Neal. And Shaq with the slam. Boy, nobody wants to get in his way when he's this deep. Watch out. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. it go driving inside ben a signature slam from the big fella we've seen a few of those before no one near picked as he lets it go and it's good assisting on the play with jordan jordan's got three assists in the game and here's simmons for three gets it to go ben from beyond simmons. the arc three ball. simmons got seven points and at the close of the third quarter, still a close game, and both teams putting up points in a hurry. Warriors lead by two.
And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. So with Harden on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. Shaquille O'Neal is out there with Kaminga. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Michael Jordan. And it's Marion in at the three, the small four. Lock at six. Curry kicks to Marion. They get it back. Pass to O'Neal. Outside Curry. Jacks up a three. Hits it from three-point range. Curry's got the lead up to five now for the Warriors. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. Yeah, I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but a much better half since they changed hoops. And they're really looking strong here. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the wild. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. And Mills kicks to Irving. Goes up to the strike. Bucket is good. You know, Irving is deadly is from mid-range and really embraces that shot. He doesn't shy away from it. And I think he can give opponents a lot of problems because of it. Back to Curry. On the wing, Merrick. The pass to O'Neal. Back to Marion. Outside for Jordan. There's the triple. And again, it's San Francisco with the three. I like how poised Jordan is. He doesn't feel the pressure, not at all. Stays relaxed, embraces, knocking down these hard, high-pressure shots. And the foul called on Sean Marion. That's his first foul. Durant's checked in for Andre Drummond. First team foul. Coming onto the floor for the away team. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Here's Claxton. The kick out to Brown. Yes, that goes in. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. That bucket in in no time at all. Curry's got nine points in the quarter. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Another bomb for him right now. His three-point shooting might be the key to cutting that lead. I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, as long as he keeps knocking them down, they might as well keep going back to the well. No reason to let it run dry. Keep firing that thing. Some changes here for the Warriors. Raymond Green comes in for Sean Marion. And Gary Payton has subbed in for Jordan. And the call will go against Jonathan Kaminga. That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. His first personal foul. Third team foul. To the middle. It's picked off. And he was camped in just the right spot to swipe that pass away Two down low. In the game. So you can't yeah. look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Lamar Odom is checked in for San Francisco. And the shot is good. Irving showing you he's a frame ahead of his opponent with that nice imagination on offense. Curry with him. Green, the pass to Curry. Back to Green. Six on the shot clock. Puts it up from 12. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Green. Curry's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Quite simply, Stephen Curry is the best jump shooter in the history of our great game. And I don't know if it's even a debate. Durant for three. And it's San Francisco with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. 
outside Curry. Pass to one zone. Back to Curry. Launches a three. And it's Durant with the rebound. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Over Curry. Kept alive. The kick out to Irving. And the three off target. Unzel, the pass to Curry. From beyond the arc, and then some. And now a 10-point San Francisco lead. Curry's release is so quick as a defender. You can't afford to give him any space. You can't lay off at all. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. Hey, guys, no doubt who our pick is going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Forty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter, and he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. Stephen Curry has checked in for Michael Jordan, and that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Unsell. Kuminga with it. Now guarded by Simmons. Three-pointer. A shot by Curry. No good. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Trailing here by eight. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Wow. Wow. He got That's whacked. Oh, that one shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. At the line for the away team. James Johnson. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Curry outside. Brooklyn with the rebound. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save him tonight. Not by a long shot. It's all but a fish. And again, it's the Nets missing. Kaminga dishes to Oda. Here's Curry with the three. No good. The hustle from Simmons on defense is contagious, infectious. He brings all-out energy on every possession. So we see the Warriors get the win here. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave him that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.